Who knows? Also, again, I find it hilarious that so far, the only sex minigame was at the beginning. And it's just like, a part of me is just like, I kind of figured that would... There would be more. For some odd reason. <laughs> For some odd reason. Oh. Kratos. Return, but too late. Ares has taken Athens. There is no more hope. No hope. Well, you're still alive. Maybe. But also, Athena thinks there's still a way for us to get out of this okay, so... You shut your mouth. Also, oddly, you've managed to upgrade a lot of the stuff in this. Kratos oh, had traversed the desert of lost souls, bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? You cast your favor on Athena, but her city lies in ruins before me. And now, even Pandora's box is mine! Would you have me use it against Olympus itself? Kratos Hello. <laughs> returned even from the underworld. Is this the best you can do, father? You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the god of war? I probably should have seen that coming, Ares. After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally... And he just doesn't notice that he dropped Pandora's box? That transition needs work. You are still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned. To kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. Well, that is. Ah, he's the King of Blades. Your final lesson is at hand. Prepare to join your family, Spartan. Oddly enough, there wasn't that many boss battles. I probably should have used uh, the Hades thing one more time. Get him! I'm dead, aren't I? Nope, I'm just barely alive. And now I'm dead. Because he is ridiculous. Let's do it again. Overall, not bad, just a little ridiculous. Again, it's mostly focusing on the, ah, uh, 
I can block anything, and you can't block anything. Load, asshole. Oh boy! My boy! Just have to skip that cutscene! Full health, full mana... I guess instead of putting you... Uh, it's basically pointless. I really wish that there were no attacks assigned to the fucking block button. Hey, I couldn't even see that prompt. Again, <laughs> it's so finicky. It's like, let me actually, you know, take advantage. a button mash of fun and then you just throw <sighs> this okay that is shit that is some shit oh of course it fucking changes I don't like your fucking fuck. <sighs> Again. And that time it was like, oh, X, Xbox controller. Urgh. Fuck off. You lost your good boss battle license when you decide to go a little bullshit. It's the same thing over and over and it changes. Let the rage of the gods drive your blades, oh boy! Cutscene? Is it the end or is it just phase two? Phase two. that had haunted Kratos for the past ten years had now taken form and substance. His past stood before him. Kratos! What's happening? Where are we? By the gods, can this be real? That is not a kid's voice. There is nothing you can put in my way to stop me. 
I will save my family. Get out of here. Okay, that's annoying as all. Hit. What are you supposed to fucking do? They just hound. Oh boy, that's fair. Not to mention, you have to care about your health and theirs. Luckily, they have lots of health. Oh, fuck off. Getting annoyed. Fuck off. That's so annoying. Here's a dude on an island. Fuck off. Let me jump to it or fuck off. And plus, they go for your family and you, whichever's convenient for him. Plus, they can plow through your attacks. <laughs> That's fair. And you can fall off. That's fine. Like I, like I understand like falling off because you jumped off, but Jesus. And there's a reason I upgraded that attack. Why is there a dude on an island that I can't really get to haunting me? Oh, they just want you to upgrade everything now. And I can Gorgon's Rage now, once this is fully upgraded. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's because it's that powerful. Gorgon Rage holds to freeze all surrounding enemies. Now let's fill this up as much as possible. 
I almost wish I could just upgrade, like, ooh, get mana faster, but then that would be overpowered. Fun is all hell, but overpowered. Quit hitting me so I can hit you. Fuck off. Fuck off. I just don't like that enemies can go through your attacks to hit you. Yeah, I love being comboed. Take this, assholes! I can't hear you over the music. Please, take us home! Do you see, God of War? You took them once! But you'll never have them again! You cannot save them, Kratos. You gave them up in your quest for ultimate power. There is a price to pay for everything you gain. Not that price. I didn't want them to die. No price is too high for what I offered. And you rejected me. A god! Now, you will have no power. No magic! All that is left for you is death! Oh, not... not again. You should have joined me, Kratos! Is it time for the final QTE? By the gods. Huh. <laughs> Giant the sword. The, gods the sword of Athena. The final gift for Kratos. Now that's a callback. There's a lot of good design in this. this now you will see how strong I am. Okay. Got a block. Blocking is finally useful again. Take that, jerk. You forget, Kratos, that shit. Yeah. That's cheap. Oh, so he can stun me. That's fucking fair. Fuck off. I don't like anymore. Yay, new things. You can't dodge that! Fuck off! Have a decent goddamn design. Fuck off! Why can he stun you? Fucking fair. 
I can get stunned 24 fucking 7, but enemies can. Yeah. Fucking die. Cold a heart. <laughs> Knock me out of the way of your own attack. Her back so fucking quickly. <sighs> also, you can get punished, but he can't. And he has such an advantage. Like, sure, you're fighting God, but still. Take this! I wanted to use other type of dodging controls, so I got hit. You shouldn't be able to do that twice in a row. If he does that another time... <sighs> Fuck that move. Such... A me move to give him an automatic hit by stunning me. Now remember, dodge is the stick. Oh, one soul lasted. Alright, here we go! This is guaranteed meter unless he pushes me back, which hasn't happened yet. Yeah! Here we go! This is definitely a very good way to do this boss battle, but the... I don't like... Uh, just a few... I forgot what was the proper dodge again. And now time for your downfall, because this is a guaranteed win! Unless it just does barely less than enough meter. Now this is it. Goodbye, boy. Jerk. Remember Kratos. That was a good end. I it just didn't like the stun attack. I saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten Ares. I remember how you saved me that night. I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. Kratos That's... had done me impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. Of course he has to explode. And Athens was destroyed anyway. The city had been saved and would thrive again. 
thrive the again. Could not be set for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are. But we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. Or would it? Apparently... The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. Yeah, that's it. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. Acquired Athena's Blades. I thought it was over. Your battles are at an end, Kratos. Your Mount Olympus. Um, you guys do know that you kind of pissed him off. Granted, that was just the loophole. Rid me of these memories. Is, wasn't that the entire deal? Like, his entire thing, I'm pretty sure in the beginning it was just, hey, get rid of these memories, these nightmares, these visions for me. And they said, we'll remove your sins. And he must have assumed they were the same thing. And you're offering him godhood? All you're doing is... <laughs> Oh, these are my trophies. Yeah, because these are basically the only... These are the only bosses that we really fought. This is the throne. Take your rightful place. And from that point forward, throughout the rest of time, Whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war. Roll credits. Congratulations, you have conquered god of war. Aspect ratio. New attempt. Now attempt God mode. You have completed God of War. Treasures of Olympus have been unlocked. God mode has been unlocked. Would you like to save? Sure. Huh. Some part of me feels like I haven't played those sections, but at the same time, I do. No. 
Well, let's talk about God of War. I like it. I like... Basically, to quote the Nostalgia Critic review that just came out, It's amazing! Except when it's kind of stupid. Because the overall story is pretty... Is, is good enough, in my opinion. It's not amazing, but it's good enough to just be a plot driver for the gameplay. Which it is. The overall gameplay of the beat-em-up stuff is perfectly good. It's perfectly... The, even the bad stuff is perfectly fine. Because uh, all you have to do is dodge, parry, and uh, even though there's the annoying thing of, ooh, you hit them so much that now they instantly block encounter. That's a little annoying and counterproductive to me, but eh. It's not bad. It's the other stuff I don't like. It's everything else. It's the puzzles. It's the, yeah, it's the puzzles, it's the challenges. Those things are just kind of stupid. It's the, hey, go and do a, uh, just go and try this to get this scepter thingy. But, oh, the floor drops out from underneath you. Uh, why? Why would you do that to me? That is highly annoying. Especially considering the main flaw of God of War is that it doesn't telegraph anything. Enemies are attacking you, but aside from a few attacks, they aren't telegraphed. And some of them you can't even readily dodge. Okay, that's pretty cool. You actually see all these different gameplay sections. But nothing is telegraphed. The puzzles, they, are, they don't give you a lick. They don't give you a lick of what you're supposed to do. Here's a statue that's immediately noticeable, but then there's another one on the other side that you can't see because you can't control the camera. A lot of the times, it's just like, I wish I could control the camera just so I can look at the optimal way. The balance, balance on these turny things or get hit off and die. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's abuse of insta-death is unforgivable because there's no reason for it. There's no reason for that much insta-death. But it wouldn't be bad if they just telegraphed. And I'd be like, oh, I'm a stupid. But no, when it's like, here are um, enemies and they're coming out of the walls. You need to block them with these uh, statues. They don't show the statues at all. In fact, for a moment, like, I'm pretty sure if you did it right, you could probably glitch your way out and never place the statues there. Purely because... Purely because it is a day you need to stop the enemies from coming at you before you can move on. Kratos will return. Of course he will. You think PlayStation would let something like this slide away forever? But, I... But yeah, it was like, I'm pretty sure you could glitch yourself out of that room just by killing them enough and then raising up the door. I'm pretty sure you could do that. And then the double statue thing, like, would be solved if I could look around. And then there's the timer stuff where it's like, here are the two most immediate ones for this one, like, in the, uh, in the, uh, or Architect's, uh, in the Architect's Tomb, I think it was. It was the Architect something or other. But in that one, it's the first door opens up by uh, doing this, and the second door opens up by doing this. And, but then there's a third one. It's like, ooh, do I lift it up? Ooh, do I destroy it? No, there's a third one that you have to do. Oh, yeah. And the biggest annoyance is I never know where the secrets are because it's so determined to put you on the right path. Like, they don't telegraph which way is a good way to go at all. And that bothers me. Also, why would they give you Athena's Blades if... Uh, more, there has to be some kind of new game plus. We'll have to we'll look into it later. But it just so it. This is a good game, but just like Metal Gear Solid, it is so bogged down by bad design. It's not as bad as Metal Gear Solid's worst parts, but at the same time, God of War's worst parts are far more annoying because you're stuck there, and then it has the audacity to go like, Would you like to play on easy? No! I don't want to. 
because it isn't the fighting. I only died to combat like two or three times over this game. Once was to the Sirens, once was to Ares, and one is just thrown in in case I forgot. Everything else has been falling off a ledge. Yeah, everything has been falling off a ledge and succumbing to insta-death. Everything else has been that. I only died at most three times to combat. And no, I'm not counting the, ooh, you fell off a... You fell off a, uh, a rope because you got shot by insta-death archers. Like, no. That doesn't count because that's a part of the bad design of insta-death. My health bar was not drained by enemies more than three times. It was falling and insta-death traps and walls hitting into grates underwater. And most of it, some of it could be resolved if they just made it so that you could move the camera around so I could better judge distances and actually turn around and backtrack. And then, and then just be able to actually have better view of things. The other part is just pure bad design on the game's part, on the designer's part. Like again, the worst part uh, was the stinking, ooh, invisible timer, the door will break and open up, but you basically need the freaking Rage of the Gods ability or else you die. That's it. But overall, God of War is a good game, just bogged down by the annoying need for other things. Like, we need puzzles, we need challenges, and then they just suck at that. The pure beat-em-up gameplay is really good. You attack, you attack, you can bring people down, down to Earth, and it's just when I got so annoyed by the game that I just like, okay game, screw you, I'm just going to go and spam this one combo over and over and over again because it knocks most enemies out of their loop so I can chain them again and again and again and again and again. And it's just really effective of exploiting some of the more annoying enemies' uh, flaws. Like even ones that are, uh, that block, <laughs> get chip damage when you do that apparently. Or that was just a belated, uh, belated, hey, here's the insta-death thing that you can use to kill the enemy. Overall, good game. Just really wish they fixed some of the problems. Also, Ares, also, Ares is just weird. He's like, I am a giant god and I'm going to crush this thing. It's like, kind of cool that they do play, I think, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't know that much about Greek mythology, but it is kind of interesting, but at the same time, kind of not. <laughs> it's like, Ares is just like, Would you like me to use Pandora's box against Olympus? Excuse you. Hey, Zeus. Uh, can I just say that, uh... He's the one threatening to go up against Olympus. I'm pretty sure you can justify killing him at that point. Oh, but Zeus deigned that we shall not go to war with each other. That's freaking stupid. <laughs> so instead, we're... Literally, every single god, Poseidon, Zeus, Aphrodite, Athena, Artemis, Hades, every single one of those people helped Kratos go and kill Ares. They didn't, it's basically just like, okay, you two, sh you two shall not kill each other, and instead they just hire assassins. It's just like, that's still you trying to kill him, asshole. And... I still don't understand the, uh, ooh, his family was there. I guess Ares put him there. And it's just like, that's the weakest part of all this. That is just the most, that is just the weakest thing of all. It's just like, I did it to make you stronger. Oh, I actually unlocked these. Uh, how many did I unlock? Advanced player god mode. Select from the main menu. Character graveyard. Visit the character graveyard and see 3D models that did not make it into the game. Challenge of the gods. 10 rooms, 10 challenges. Can you make it to the end? In game movies. A secret revealed. Uh, discover the secret Kratos' family. Where uh, will this discovery lead? Beat god mode to unlock. What has become of Kronos the Titan? Additional costumes. Secret message one, secret message two. 
So I unlocked most of the stuff just by playing, which is actually pretty cool. I guess. Uh, let's see what happens when I do that. And now I can do Spartan and God. Hmm. I'm gonna look at see if I can look at I don't know, see if I can look at the trophies. Where are the trophies? I don't I don't memorize this. Trophy collection and just see what the trophies I unlocked. Seventy five percent of trophies. Acquire Poseidon's Rage. Can I see what ones uh Splash. Kiss the Naiad. Not sure how, but I guess I'll get Collect all the Gorgon eyes, missed them, collect all the Phoenix Oh, I did get them. I just didn't realize that. Legend and the Twins, watch the birth of the beast treasure. Make max out all weapons and magic. I'm gonna have to do that. Complete the challenge of the gods and beat the game in under five hours on any difficulty. So there isn't even a beat it on hard difficulty? Hell yeah, this is gonna be an easy platinum. Just need to beat it in under five hours on any difficulty. Just have to play on easy. Uh, complete the challenge of the gods. That might actually be difficult. Max out all weapons and magic. Uh, I, I should be able to do that. So yeah, I'm going to have a fun time playing through this again. Oh yeah, and kiss the Nyad. <laughs> Not sure how. I'm not sure if I, how to do that, but oh well. But yeah, this game, I like it. And I feel like it's going to be a kind of Metal Gear Solid for me. Because I played through Metal Gear Solid again and again and again and again. And had a lot of fun doing it after I actually knew what to do. Though, this one's going to be a bit more annoying because it's less, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to do that, and it's more, oh, I know how to do it, but doing it is a bitch. But doing it under five hours, I think I can do that. Because I actually think I did this one in under nine hours on normal difficulty. But uh, since there's no achievements for doing it on hard or god, I don't, I'm not going to play those. Well, I might. One second. <clears throat> uh, trophy collection. It's... No. No, not that. Dumbass. Perfect. Trophy collection. God of War. Um, what is it that I need to do? Watch the birth of the type. Birth of the thing treasure. Birth of the thing treasure. Ah, uh, treasure. Ah, Birth of the Beast. I can watch that. Let's just down here. Nope, I can watch it. So I can go through and have a good time with this. But yeah, just a good game, but bogged down by certain things that I really hope are ironed out in the sequels, which uh, a part of me is just like, of course it has to be, because if... Uh, but at the same time, this isn't so sucky that it's just like, oh, how could this get a sequel like I was with like Ratchet and Clank and Uncharted at times. Uh, Uncharted is okay, uh, Ratchet and Clank is okay, but this blows them out of the water. And this was a PlayStation 2 game. That, that is what blows me away. A PlayStation 2 game is better than a play- two- well, a PlayStation 2 game is better than a PlayStation 3 game and a PlayStation, uh, 2 game. But, at the very least, it didn't have any freaking glitches. I can say that. <laughs> it didn't have any game-breaking glitches, which is nice, but- uh, anyway, I guess I'll be heading out. I've been Neon Ice Wings. If you like what you saw, please smash that like button down under, and I will see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>